My name is Lietze Bixler. I am a film choreographer, filmmaker, writer, and artist. I have worked on a lot of narrative films where either the camera needs to be choreographed or uh, the actors need to be choreographed or combination thereof. Her connections in the industry, in the film world and commercial world, as well as in dance, in all different spaces, and her own art practice, really showed our students a lot of different ways that what she was teaching could be applied. I am familiar with some of Lita's work and really thought it would be very valuable to learn from all of her years of experience. I've just really wanted to explore other mediums other than dance, such as sound and film and photography. I was excited to just get my elbows deep into a bunch of different things, honestly. We had students coming from more design thinking, from arts administration, from film and other communication arts, from creative writing, from music, um, and then students who had interests across all of those areas. That's quite, quite a broad range of people. Yeah, I know, we've got everything. <laughs> everything you could possibly need, we've got it. <laughs> We really built from the ground up in this idea of what is creativity? How could someone be creative? What are different ways to express that creativity? The approach I've always taken is just to keep throwing spaghetti against the wall in the hope that eventually something will stick, but really loving the process of throwing the spaghetti against the wall. Creativity goes into like anything and everything, and it's more about like a thinking process. You have a final destination, but it's being able to figure out the best process to get to that. As an artist, filmmaker, the process is the product. Process to me is the most important thing. And then we started talking with so many different types of people that all had their own unique sense and vision on how to use creativity. I've learned a lot about how others prepare for their work. Other people's processes are really informative. It's my, it's my own flow, it's my own movement. Uh, I from one place to the other, from Beijing to, uh, well, I was in Florida for two years for high school too, and then moving to Richmond, Virginia, and then come to Madison, Wisconsin. There is this kind of like flow in this physical space, moving from one place to the other. I have a new understanding for what collaboration really means. In the past, it had felt a little forced to me, whereas in this class, it felt super organic. There's other people on this planet, and you're gonna have to work with them eventually. Might as well get good at it. This class forced me to say, you know, you have teammates, you have people that are working with you on this, allow them to work, and trust in them that they can build their end of the bargain. Another great benefit of this class was just meeting people that are willing to do things for the art. Even if it wasn't their artistic expression, they're like, yeah, I want to help you elevate your voice. And that's what's like kind of magical. She opened doors for people. She was welcoming if people wanted to perform and dance. It was open. And I thought that that was really a, a great setup to allow people to stretch themselves. And I said, you know, I've always liked dancing, but I've just never done it before. And she's like, oh, well, yeah, then we're signing you up for that. It was like really fun experience to be able to learn how to perform with others and try and tell a story through your body. I deliberately tried to throw the students in at the deep end because that's what's gonna happen when they're in the professional world. When someone is allowing you to experiment and try new ideas and challenge yourself as much as creating something new, I guess that is the exciting thing for me, and the end result really speaks for itself. We had the ability to be pushed in a direction to learn about creativity and how that could be utilized, but then we were just sort of let free and let do whatever we wanted, whatever our minds could imagine when it came to actually creating something. It just kind of shows that regardless of where someone's level of experience is, if you allow them to have some freedom and some ownership over an idea, you're often surprised at what they can produce. Fit into the story. Like, coming here, it was so My family doesn't really understand know. why I want I don't to love it. I don't love it. I recently moved in with a new partner here, and he has lived here his entire life. The nature of that makes Madison feel more homelike. 
I've seen other people do the things that I want to do and I've learned from them. Now I'm realizing, just like bring every idea into fruition if like you can. Interview people if you're curious about them. Document things if it's interesting. Just follow the story. Especially like recently, I low-key dissociate myself from being American. I, I can't really say I was a felt American because I mean, well, I've been I think I always think of my Chinese since I was born, so I always think I'm Chinese and never thought that I'm not a Chinese. So I feel like uh, now I'm in the middle. Not kind of used by racial uh, as an identifier, uh, China but like, or I think